I'm going to create an ombre wall today that's a gradient effect from the bottom going up or the top coming down. The first thing to do is to mask up the floor, protect it from the spray. That's using two inch masking tape and a dust sheet. You can use masking tape uh, along the top edge and maybe brown paper or lining paper just to protect it. You have a base coat on the wall. We then decide what the top colour is going to be. In this case, it's a dark blue, but because we need to thin the paint down for the spraying, it won't cover. So first of all, where it's solid colour, we roll that, that in and then spray down from that. It's important to uh, thin down the uh, paint uh, so it go through the nozzle of the gun. Um, probably 50-50 water and paint. The trouble with spraying dark colours on light colours, they tend to uh, show lines. And th so what we then do is bring the wall colour up over on, on the top of it to sort of blend. It's a, a process of blending it in. When spraying, always wear a mask. You have to have a nice flat wall to start off with because if you've got any irregular lumps or bumps there, the spray will pick up on that. You can get rid of it, but it, if the flatter the wall, the better. Obviously, you've got to have a nice, a decent spray gun um, with a nice fan spray on it, because if it's too narrow a spray, you won't get an even spread. Because you could, you're using the two colours, you can bring the other colour back up, and then if it's too much, you, bring, you, can, you can actually keep changing it over until it is, it's right. Once you're happy with the spray effect, uh, that's fine, but the, the biggest problem, if it gets marked, it, it is very difficult to touch up because obviously you need a spray gun again. I think it looks really good. You've got the choices of colour and the effect, as I say, you can either do more gradient at the top or at the bottom and on a feature wall it looks really good.